Ladies and gentlemen, he's getting his round in second and out. It's Britain's number one boxing hero, Ricky Hatton. <laughs> Fantastic. I can't believe the hitman in my pub. How about this? Fantastic, isn't it? To our wives and our girlfriends, may they never meet. Wives and our girlfriends, etc. etc. To the boys. Yeah. Now, first of all, I need to write last time I saw you on TV, you were in a proper state, so I am now, yeah. You're right now, yeah. You weren't that evening, were you? Uh, I don't think so, no, no. Do no. you actually remember the end of the fight? Um, no, I remember parts of it, but it, you know, went a blank after the 10th round. Right, but... yeah, cos you got knocked down and you got up again. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And <laughs> lovely, you got... lovely ceiling. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got down again. He got knocked down, but he got up again, didn't he? he yeah. He gets knocked down, <laughs> but he gets up again. Yeah. I ain't never gonna get me down, I'll get knocked down. Ready, up again. The funny thing was, though, in the 10th round, when he hit me... Yeah. And if you ever see boxing matches, you see all these ring lights above the ring. Yeah. Hundreds of ring lights shining down on the canvas. And the canvas this night was royal blue. And it just so happens that the bed sheet, the quilt on my bed at the time, was also royal blue. <laughs> so this so Floyd hit me, and yeah. my head hit the canvas, and all I can see is the light shining down on me on my back on this royal blue canvas. And I, I thought it was the sun shining through my bedroom window. <laughs> It's fantastic. <laughs> it, was, it was morning, I had to get up and go running. <laughs> so you got up again, now fantastic. <laughs> now, it was a I'm sharp. Now, you are a true British hero cos you went abroad and got into a fight. Now... <laughs> and I'll tell you what... <laughs> in that fight, you came second. No, there's no shame in that. And... <laughs> Fight at four o'clock in the morning, now that's not easy, is it? Hey, you... Everyone in Manchester fights at well, four in the morning. Everyone in Manchester, of course. <laughs> you've been in training all your life, <laughs> sir. <laughs> now, now, that old uh, Floyd Gayfeather, what's his name? Hay Fever? <laughs> hey, mate, what's his name? <laughs> Pretty he... boy. Yeah, now, yeah. Now, when you lost a fight like that, when you get back to your dressing room, you're so angry you want to punch his lights out. Is that how you feel? Uh, no, I'm thinking just get changed and fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. That's a good answer. Now, the is. After the fight, though, I mean, you, you lost that fight, I lost 14 99 After the fight, <laughs> you were offered the chance to go see the Spice Girls, is that right? Yeah. Really? But you didn't go? No, I went, yeah. You went to the Spice Girls? Yeah. But you'd risked permanent brain damage once that evening already. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I want, what I really, really want. <laughs> what you really want. I'll tell you what. What we like to do on this show is we like to shame those that upset our friends. And uh, what I want to do, I think what we want to do, ladies and gentlemen, is raise our shaming things of shame and say, shame on you, Floyd Mayweather. <laughs> <laughs> shame on you, Floyd Mayweather. This man's a national hero. Shame on you. How dare you hit him. Shame on you. He had a clean bill of 49 fights before you got in the ring with him. Shame on you. Happy with that? <laughs> that is <laughs> You had lots of showbiz mates of that fight, didn't you? Do you want to drop some showbiz names for us? Drop some names. Well, uh, Tom Jones done the national anthem. Yeah, fantastic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> drop, drop, drop some more names, go on. Uh, Brad Pitt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who else? Angelina Jolie. Yeah, fantastic. <laughs> uh, Denzel Washington. Yeah. <laughs> Who else? Uh, Tom Cruise. <laughs> Was John Barrowman there? Yeah. <laughs> Say John Barrowman was there. John Bannerman was there. <laughs> I'm sorry, <Jim. laughs> It seems to be broken. Now... <laughs> thing is, though, thing is, though, Ricky, and I'm a big fella, but I'm out of shape. On my day, I reckon, on my day, on my day, I reckon, on my day, I reckon, on my day, I reckon, on my day, on my day, I you, I have you on my day. It's not today, not now. Tell me not to my day. Don't fight me, I don't want to touch you. Get away, you can have my dinner money. <laughs> Fight you, but I'm a coward, basically. Flat feet, asthma. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> give us a <laughs> yeah, just give me a moment. Yeah, quick. Yeah. There you go. You know what? Just keep letting him hit you in the face. Yeah. It's gonna tire him up. Hey, how are you doing, man? That was that was some fix. That that 
Floyd Mary down as one lucky bastard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, so. <laughs> Let's talk about the early years. Now, <laughs> how did you get into boxing then? Well, it's normally something, you know, you, it's probably passed down through the family tree. You know, mm. either a father or a grandfather's done it, but that was never the case. It was mainly a football family. Um, right, well, they're, they're but, sportsmen, yeah? Yeah, well, my dad played in the reserves for the greatest football team the world's ever seen, Manchester City. Mm. And... You know, normally it's passed down. Someone in the family's done it before, but, right. you know, if my dad was here now, you'd take one look at him and you'd think, how on earth has he produced it, a world boxing champion? Right. Because he's, he's nothing short of a midget. Right. <laughs> and I, I don't like midgets. I had a girlfriend leave me for the midget ones. Really? <laughs> I never thought anyone had stooped that low. <laughs> You're, you're, a, you're a Man City fan yourself. I mean, John, you live in Man City, but you're a Man <laughs> City fan yourself. And, uh, the, uh, you, you're, a man, you're a Man City fan, yeah? I certainly am, yeah. You're obsessed? Absolutely obsessed. Right, brilliant. Yeah. Got a box there at the ground. Yeah. Sometimes my dad lets me stand on it. <laughs> but, 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 <laughs> but, Fantastic. <laughs> and your, your dad ran pubs as well, is that right? He certainly did, yeah. He had about five pubs spawn in a pub. Really? Yeah, and I've spent my life there ever since. He bad judging by my weight. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was born in the pub, but she was born on the pool table around about lunchtime. <laughs> Roaring blue gas fire pub dog, suckled by a pub dog. <laughs> <laughs> do you play darts in your local then? I do, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it must be tricky with the gloves on. Well, <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, I, I, I've, I've wrapped the darts in a little bit because I think it's a little bit too violent for my life. Really? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> when I play darts, you know, you, you'd be there having a good laugh, playing darts, and then they, when they ring the bell for last orders, I'm getting that. <laughs> <laughs> Can I ask something, though? Does it hurt when you get hit on the nose? No, it's a very nice feeling. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know. You don't know what you're missing. <laughs> and your nickname, of course, is the, 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 the Hitman. But where did that come from, that hitman, hitman, hitman? Well, everyone, everyone um, seems to think that it was after the great Tommy Hearns, which Tommy Hearns was one of my, my favourite fighters, yeah. but it was just because I was so very aggressive as a, as a youngster, you know, from, a, from the first day I walked in the gym, I was dead aggressive, and my coach said, look at him, the kids are an animal, like a little hitman. I mean, my favourite fighter of all time was, was Tyson when he was in his prime. Yeah. Imagine finding Tyson in bed with your missus. Yeah. <sighs> You'd tuck him in, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I was into that. <laughs> Thing is, though, if there was any... Seriously, you have powerful fists, fists of fury, righteous fists of fury. If there was anyone, if you could use your powers for good, if there was anyone you could hit, not a boxer, who would you lamp, given half a chance? Um. Dear. <laughs> <laughs> I don't dislike He's got many. lucky pants on, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I would probably... I'd probably say Cristiano Ronaldo. Right. <laughs> right, I'll, I'll suggest it to Comic Relief next year. <laughs> <laughs> but you, my, who's your favourite boxer of all time? Uh, my favourite boxer of all time was Roberto Duran. Right, Mexican fella. No. Panamanian. Panamanian. Yeah, Panamanian. Yeah, but, Panamanian. I mean, same, same thing. Same, yeah, same thing. They're same really, you know, tough as hard yeah. as they come. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Di just different countries. My favourite's old Eubanks. <laughs> old Eubanks. He was brilliant, wasn't he, yeah? I'm not a box, I'm a fighter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a teapot. I'm a soft <laughs> Here's my hand, where's my spout? He was born... He was born for boxing, Eubanks. You really want to hit him, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> I'm a boxer. I'm a fu... <laughs> <laughs> Like <laughs> I'm not a boxer, I'm a fighter. Yeah, if you're watching, yeah, I'll have you. Now, <laughs> what's your, what's your fight day? What's your preparation? We get up in the morning and have a full English breakfast. Full English breakfast? Yeah, well... Oh, that's fantastic, <laughs> isn't it? Hey! <laughs> what are you going to do? 
I mean, seriously, that's part of your routine. When you retire from fighting, you're going to carry on with the breakfast? What are you going to do? Yeah, I'll probably carry on. Right, because I worry about boxers when they retire, you know? Cause, and the modern trend at the moment is to get themselves a kitchen appliance, isn't it? Your old George Foreman. <laughs> George Foreman grill. Right? I've got a gift for you to set you up for retirement. I've an invention, one of my inventions. It's a breakfast making machine, breakfast matic machine. I want to get it's called Ricky Hatton's Big Chipper. Do you want to see it in action? Yeah, go for it's it. It's a fantastic yeah. piece of kit, this. It's a dynamic <coughs> breakfast making automatic. Here we go. Ah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Big chipper. Dead simple, right? <laughs> What we got then? Basically, you chuck in the ingredients, you put a couple of spuds in. Yeah, spuds, mate. Yeah. <laughs> put a couple of spuds in. Like that. In goes spuds. Like that. And we put some bacon, lovely few rashes of bacon in there. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, oh. yeah, put in a couple of tomatoes like that. There we go. One, two, like that. Loaf this. Put some bread in. Put some bread in. There we go. <laughs> um, some baked beans. That we should do. Give us some sausages like that. How many eggs do you want, by the way? How many eggs do you want? Hey, give us six. Yeah, six. All right. Yeah, play. Yeah, play. Like that, in go the eggs. <laughs> and a tea bag. Right, Yay! there we go. Yeah. Just set off the breakfast. The Ricky Don't forget the sweet chip of <laughs> Here we go. It's very impressive. It's a quite a piece of kidney. Here we go. Stand by for breakfast. Right. Oh. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Ricky. Ricky Hatton, Ricky Hatton!